Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm gonna show you how to apply a ceramic coating on top of PPF, but the same applies on paint protection film, which we call PPF, vinyl wraps, and whether they're gloss, satin, or matte. So we have two ceramic coatings that I really like. Uh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video, so nobody paid for this review. I uh, ordered uh, these products myself, and this is basically a tutorial so you guys can do the steps at home and protect your car and talk Talking about a car, we have a special one today, a beautiful 2022 Porsche Taycan Turbo in uh, magentian blue. So it looks absolutely stunning. So it was completely wrapped in PPF. The, uh, it was done at the dealership by Porsche. They did a great job because I don't see any creases in the PPF. So I'm gonna talk about the preparation in this video, what steps you need to do beforehand, and then you're gonna see the demo. So we're gonna be applying this, and then we're gonna look at the final results. By the way, I wanna remind you all the products that I'll be talking about today, I'll drop the links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So ceramic coatings, PPF or vinyl wraps, how does it work? Why would we protect that? Well, first of all, if you have a PPF or paint protection film, note that that is mainly to protect against scratches and against stone chips. So contrary to popular belief, ceramic coatings don't protect against scratches and stone chips. All they can do at best is protect against light marring or light scratching or love marks, as we say, from your washing and drying phases when you're taking care of your vehicle. But what ceramics coatings are good for is to protect against UV rays, add gloss, slickness, also bump hydrophobic properties, so the water beating and the water sheeting and also add self-cleaning properties meaning that the vehicle is going to be a lot easier to wash during your maintenance washes. So you can basically apply any type of ceramic coating that's typically made for paint on top of PPF or vinyl wraps as well but in the recent years there have been companies that have been coming out with PPF or vinyl wrap specific ceramic coatings and we have two of them today. So we have the G-Technic Halo that's quite popular both give about one to two years of protection and the other one is we have Carpro Skin. So again, both of these can be applied to PPF or paint protection film. That's what we call clear bra in the industry as well, or on top of your vinyl wraps and that kind of stuff. And it doesn't matter if the surface is glossy, matte, or satin, you can apply these on top. And what they promise is basically UV protection. So prevent against the yellowing and fading of the, uh, of the, the PPF itself or the vinyl wrap to enrich whatever finish is on there and especially give you hydrophobic properties and self-cleaning properties. So dirt sticks a lot less on the surface and of course, well, it's a lot easier to maintain during your maintenance washes. So today we'll be specifically applying the G-Technic Halo. So one to two years of protection. What do you get in the box? It's quite simple. You have a 30 mil version or a 50 mil version. So come in closer, you'll see the content. So they give you some gloves, always wear protective gloves when you're detailing cars with chemicals, it's very important. You get the coating itself, so G-Technic Halo, they call it the flexible film coating. So the difference between ceramic coatings that are specifically formulated for PPF or vinyl wraps is that they're more flexible, so they bond better on top of the PPF. And also what they do is they provide a deeper penetration because they're more flexible, but also note that uh, PPF and vinyl wraps are more porous than your traditional ceramic coating. And so you want something that's more compatible. So these are specifically formulated for that. You get your instruction sheet, very simple. We'll go over what I recommend that you guys do and you get a nice little applicator, but I'm using my own. Okay, so back to me. What are we gonna do first of all? The vehicle was entirely washed and prepped. You can watch other videos on my channel for that if you want. I've done that a thousand times. I know you guys want to jump directly into the application demo. And so once your vehicle is washed, you make sure to uh, use any decon that you need. So if the PPF was recently installed, you shouldn't have to use any iron removers or tar removers or clay bars or things of that nature. Try to avoid using clay bars on top of PPF because clay bars uh, are abrasive materials so you can scratch the finish. Uh, if you need to do a light machine polishing, that's fine. You can treat basically PPF like you would with normal clear coat on your paint. Uh, and then you're gonna use a paint prep in the form of IPA diluted 30 to 50%. So I used uh, an isopropyl alcohol diluted 40% in distilled water. Why am I not using paint preps like G-Technic Panel Wipe or Car Pro Eraser or Geon Prep? Well, according to G-Technic, those might be a bit too strong because they're formulated for clear coats, right? You basically spray on the surface, you wipe with a towel, and that way you're getting a squeaky clean substrate to work with. Always work in a controlled environment if possible. So here now I'm in my garage 
garage. So I'm working in 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are optimal conditions. Uh, if you work outside, it's fine, but always work on a cool surface. Very important, do not work in direct sunlight. And I wouldn't go below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius to apply this. Uh, and note that it has a relatively quick flashing time of roughly 60 seconds when you apply this on the surface. So when you start off, work in smaller sections, so two, by, two feet by two feet sections, until you're familiar enough with the product and you see how it wipes off. What they recommend is two coats of this, so two layers, one hour between coats. So that's how you're gonna get the maximum durability, which is one to two years of real world durability claims according to G-Technic. Of course, we're gonna test this in real world conditions and see how it goes over time. So shake your chemicals before you start always very important and we're going to prime the pad so the bottle itself has a dropper that's included on the tip so you're going to tape the pad and you're going to be applying a little more to prime it than you normally would with other ceramic coatings so get that wet it's very important and then you're going to be applying more drops as you go but to prime the pad initially you want to apply enough product so now come here if you have this vantage point so you can see how i work so what G-Technic recommends is to do, to limitate a square box, but what you're gonna do first is you're gonna do your little box, or you're gonna do the edges, for example. You're gonna pull a line in the center, and what I've seen them do is apply it in a circular motion to start off. This is just so you're distributing the product evenly. So I'm used to it, so I can work in a bigger section than you normally would, but try and keep it small to start off with. And then you're gonna do the crosshash pattern, meaning up and down and left to right, as you normally would with ceramic coatings. So this is to ensure that you're getting proper coverage all over the PPF surface. It is very, very easy to apply, by the way. This is a DIY coating. So anybody can purchase this and apply this. If you've waxed your car before, you can do this, guys. No problem there. So we did this section. And then after about a minute or 60 seconds, that's the optimal time G-Technic recommends to leave that on there. What we're going to do is take our two microfiber towels. So once again, you have one towel for your initial wipe. Again, we don't buff the ceramic coatings. I hear this often in the industry. You're not buffing. What you're doing is you're leveling the coating to make sure you don't have any high spots. Those are the darker spots that you get if you let a coating cure and you forgot to properly level it. So you have your first towel to do that and then you have your second towel to go off and this is your buffing towel to make sure you're having no streaks on the surface. And also I recommend that you use a detailing light. So these are from ScanGrip and that way you can look on the surface for any high spots. And the good thing about Halo is that if you do have any uh, streaks or high spots that you see, it doesn't matter because it's very forgiving. Even a few hours after your job, you can come back if you see a high spot and just wipe again and you should be good to go. So very user-friendly. It's gonna give tremendous slickness to the paint. So now that it's been about a minute, so you're gonna see a bit of bubbling here on the surface with a bit of, uh, well, you're gonna see the motions that you did, but you don't get rainbowing necessarily like you would with traditional ceramic coatings. So just keep that in mind. And you're gonna take your first towel and then you start wiping and the wipe off <laughs> is, it gets me every time. This is so easy. Anybody can do this at home, guys. Look at that. You don't have to have 24 years of detailing experience like I do to apply this. You can do this in your house, no problem. So we have our first towel for the initial leveling. And then you take your second clean and dry microfiber towel and again, leveling this is so, so nice. No streaks, no residue, and you can feel the towel gliding right under me. So here, where there's no coating, it's grabby, and here, look at that, it glides on its own. So very, very slick surface. So there we go. Now you applied that to that section. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our inspection light and we're going to inspect to see if we have any spots that we forgot. So be diligent in your work, take your time. And if you do all the prep work, which is by the way, the toughest part when you're uh, doing a ceramic coating job is all the prep before the coating. When you're applying the coating, it's actually super simple. You should be able to go around the car in about 45 minutes on a car like this, like the Taycan. 
and then wait a bit. And after the hour has passed, you can apply the second coat. So I don't see any high spots here. So let's continue the application on the rest of the hood so you guys see this. So again, we make sure that we apply enough product on there. And especially for, if you're working on vinyl graphics, so, or a wrapped car, right, with vinyl, you're gonna wanna work an entire surface at once, so that way you don't have any cut lines between your sections. So, we're gonna delimitate, once again, the section that we're working in, bring it to the center. Circular motions for the initial application. You're distributing the product, basically. And now, up and down, and left to right, cross hatch pattern, same as we normally do for traditional ceramic coatings. This is a breeze to work with. <laughs> and the results are gonna speak for themselves and the customer is gonna be happy. So he's gonna be able to maintain his vehicle in a very simple and easy way. So let's grab our towels. You can put the cap back on. You don't want curing to start in the bottle. So when you're looking at the surface, if you want to come in closer, maybe perhaps, and move around with the light to see the lines that you see on camera, hopefully, you get kind of a bubbling effect of the coating while it's penetrating. Again, keep in mind that PPF is more porous than your traditional clear coat. So these products were built with flexibility in mind and penetrate those deep pores as well of the PPF to help protect it over time uh, against the UV rays, against the elements as well. So it's basically protection on top of your protection on top of the clear coat, right? You wanna help preserve everything as much as possible, but we're mainly looking for the self-cleaning properties. Dirt is gonna stick a lot less to the surface like it would if you have a ceramic coating on your traditional car or clear coat, should I say. And uh, it just makes it more, much more fun and enjoyable to maintain your cars during your maintenance washes. Okay guys, so we're time. Again, now to level this coating, as we can see this, yeah, we're good to go. Once again, I'm working in 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Always work on a cool surface in the shade. So the surface has to be cool to the touch. That is crucial. Do not work on baking hot paint. Never do this in direct sunlight. So again, you can do this outside. Just make sure you're in the shade. So very early on in the morning or very late in the afternoon. That way you're avoiding noontime when the sun is at its brightest and hottest. So we're done with the initial wipe. We take our second clean and dry microfiber towel. I like shorter nap towels when leveling coatings because they just seem to work a lot better for that task. But you can use whatever towels you guys want. Again, this feels super, super slick to the touch and wait till you see the end results. They're gonna look crazy, right? So we're gonna take our inspection light once again, flash that on there. So for a car, I uh, typically like to use uh, one microfiber applicator to apply it. So I'll flip it halfway through. If you're using the smaller micro suede, you can change a few of those during your, you're doing the car, so maybe two or three. Um, and for the towels, I like to typically use anywhere from three to four towels for the initial wipe and three to four towels for the second towel as well. And you're turning the towels to fresh and clean sides every time, right? So let's inspect this now for any high spots once again. So these are flat panels that I showed you this on. And next we're going to move on to what it looks like on a vertical panel like the door. So, yep, that looks pretty good. All right. All right, guys, so let's move on to uh, the uh, driver's side door here, so a vertical panel. Every now and then, every other panel, take your bottle and shake it up. Make sure you distribute the coating evenly inside there. Once again, you know the drill. So we're going to prime the pad. And on this one, because I'm used to it and I know the flashing times and all that, I'm going to do the edges first, drop that center line, and again, like we're waxing, 
So initially, you just want that even distribution. So you can do circular motions. And you're not scratching the car, by the way, when you're doing circular motions with protection. Protection doesn't contain any abrasives. So if you're using a pure carnauba wax, a paint sealant, or a ceramic coating, there's no abrasives inside there. So there are no worries. And now we are back to doing the left and right cross hatch pattern or basket weave, however you guys call it. It is very, very forgiving. So one thing that I noticed about both CarPro Skin and G-Technic Halo, my two favorite coatings for PPF and vinyl wraps, is that it is very forgiving. So don't worry about any high spots. If you take your time to do things well, you are absolutely going to enjoy this. So you can tell that G-Technic has used all their experience in the UK of making some high quality car detailing products for a long while now. And they know what they're doing as far as coatings are concerned. So we're gonna let that sit for that 60 second period. So you're gonna feel in your conditions, of course, depending on where you are, if you go over the perfect timing to do that initial wipe, it's gonna feel a bit grabbier or tackier. That's when you know you maybe waited a bit too long. So that's why initially they always recommend to work in smaller two by two sections so you can control and get a feel for what you're doing. So it's important. Don't be shy to test, right? So you can maybe start on your roof, see what it looks like because it's a more inconspicuous area and apply the coating in your conditions, your temperature settings and humidity. By the way, here I'm at 40 to 45% because I have a dehumidifier. So my, my environment is really controlled. Uh, but see the results you're getting in that two by two section and then you can move on to bigger panels like this at once if uh, that works for you. So as you're getting accustomed to it and the more you're gonna be applying this, the more comfortable you're gonna feel. But again, this is so forgiving. This is meant for DIY applications. So you guys should have no problems using this. By the way, drop a comment in the comment section under the video. If you've applied either CarPro Skin and G-Technic Halo, let me know how long has it been lasting for you guys. It's always good for my community and my viewers to kind of exchange and uh, see what others are getting for results. Of course, what conditions you're living in as well, if you wanna mention what country you're from. So we kind of get an idea of what conditions you live in. Okay, so it's time for the initial wipe now. And once again, <laughs> oh my God. If all the coatings could be this simple, right? Kudos to G-Technic for this. Great job. Super simple wipe off. And that second towel, by the way, is to make sure that also you don't get any left over streaks or high spots. So be very thorough, very diligent when you're doing this. All right. And now the second clean and dry towel. This feels super slick. So the entire car was wrapped in this case in PPF. So headlights, taillights, the mirrors, the roof, the doors, the trunk, basically every painted surface. So we're gonna go over the entire vehicle with the first coat. And then after we're done with the first layer, that should be around 45 minutes to an hour. And that means we'll be ready to apply the second layer because that's what they recommend is two coats. So you get the maximum performance and durability. Not more than that, G-Technic says that three coats is too much and you're not getting any benefits. So two layers should get you roughly one to two years of real world protection. And there you go. Once again, you know the drill. We like to do things right. Inspect your work and look for any high spots that you might have. This seems, once again, be very, very good. And even if you do see a high spot, well, wipe it off. It comes off easily. And even when you're done your entire vehicle, go over it once more with a fine tooth comb. Maybe close the lights and just use your inspection light to go around the car. And the good thing is, even up to an hour later or a few hours later, if you do see a high spot, it's very forgiving. Just wipe it off and that's it. You're good to go. So we're going to do the rest of the car. 
do the second layer an hour later and then 12 hours with no exposure to water or rain that's the bare minimum but we're going to give it 24 hours to cure uh, in a garage without exposure to water or rain do not wash your car for seven days minimum after applying the ceramic coating and uh, then it's going to be time to look at the final results and i'm also going to talk about maintenance so what do you do for maintenance right all right guys final results Ooh 2022 Porsche Taycan Turbo look at that it looks like a mirror absolute perfection so two layers of the G Technic Halo ceramic coating look at the gloss look at the shine but it's mainly the slickness that you're getting out of this lots of cool options on this Porsche Taycan Turbo including the uh, PDLS Plus Matrix headlights with that iceberg blue kind of finish. The Gentian blue metallic paint looks amazing now and it's well protected with that G-Technic coating. Look at the reflections. God, this looks good. You can see all the curves now. Let me give you from another perspective. It looks dripping wet, right? So all that's left now is to apply some sort of a tire dressing to make it pop even more. But uh, yeah, great job. Very, very easy to use. Very easy to apply. Tremendous slickness. And this is going to be very simple to clean during maintenance washes. And talking about maintenance washes in just a few seconds, I'm going to explain to you what I recommend. What do you need to do? Which products do you use? Is it hard? Is it simple? Well, spoiler alert, it's quite simple to take care of ceramic coated cars. As you're going to see but once again look at that mirror finish so you can apply this on matte or glossy surfaces or satin on ppf or on vinyl wraps and look at this look at these little details in the taillights that porsche logo wow. so let me give you another vantage point let me back up here Ooh. what do you guys think drop a comment in the comment section do you like porsche tycons of course you know me i love love porsches the overall build quality is second to none and driving this not only is it a rocket ship but uh, you're still getting that porsche overall dna and experience okay let's go ahead and talk about maintenance now all right guys so well as you saw in this video we applied g technic halo but the uh, pretty much the same applies to the uh, CarPro skin. So again, these are flexible coatings, ceramic coatings that were specifically formulated for paint protection film, also known as PPF or clear bra, and also for vinyl graphics, so vinyl wraps. And regardless if they're glossy, if they're satin, or if they're matte surfaces, uh, and they last anywhere from one to two years, according to the durability claims. Again, let me know in the comment section uh, what durability you guys are getting out of them if you've been testing these for a while, because I think they've been on the market for about a year or two now already. Uh, so you pretty much get everything you need in there to apply them. As you saw, application was super simple. The results, I think they spoke for themselves. Again, I'll leave links to these in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So for maintenance now, it is very, very easy. You're going to use some sort of a maintenance shampoo. So there are different types available that I like to use. Basically, maintenance washes that are made for ceramic coatings. You get CarPro Reset, of course. This has taken first place in my Car Detailing Products Awards video every year for best car shampoo. Uh, you can use something like the new Phoenix EOD. Apex Auto Wash, another good one. So no additives, no gloss boosters, uh, just pure shampoos, uh, no scents either. These just do a tremendous job for regular maintenance as well. Uh, every few months, depending on your brake dust contamination, uh, you can use iron removers. It's actually recommended. It's going to help break down a bit of that road grime and traffic film, but also remove that brake dust. Uh, a bit less on EVs, right? But on normal vehicles with steel brakes, that's a problem. So every three to four months, you can use an iron remover or tar remover if you have any deposits. The uh, coatings have good chemical resistance, so there's no worries to use those. Try avoid using uh, clay bars because those are abrasives and you can damage the coating. So I wouldn't do that, specifically not on PPF. So try to avoid that. You shouldn't have the need for that anyhow. 
Uh, and then every six months, try to use a uh, shampoo that's a bit stronger. So something like uh, the uh, G-Technic in their lineup have a citrus wash. I think it's called W5 because they have the W4 pre-wash citrus-based snow foam that's very good for maintenance. But you also have the W5 that's citrus infused. Uh, or you can use uh, an APC as a pre-treat to remove a bit of that road grime and traffic film because especially because the PPF is very porous and has a tendency to accumulate a lot of that traffic film and road grime that oily residue that can mask the properties of your coating over time. So you want to restore that with some form of a pre-treat or a shampoo that has a bit more bite to it. And don't worry, you're not going to damage your coating. So that's what we call a maintenance wash or a decon wash. So that every five to six months, it's a good thing to do, especially if you're in the winter months to remove those calcium and road salts and all that kind of crap. And of course that traffic film. So use some type of APC or a shampoo that has degreasing properties or citrus based properties inside there or a pH, a higher pH one, maybe like the uh, Built Hammer Auto Foam Shampoo that I reviewed on my channel, by the way, go check that out, Built Hammer Products, made in the UK. So they're perfect for this type of application. And again, iron remover, I remind you every two to three months or depending on the levels of contamination that you get from your brake dust, it's a good thing to think of and uh, you should be good to go. Now, what do you apply if you wanna boost that slickness, boost that gloss and replenish a bit of those SiO2 or ceramic properties? You can use basically any silica or SiO2 spray sealant of your choice. They're pretty much all compatible. G-Technic have their own C2V3. Uh, CarPro has their own reload maintenance spray, but basically any SiO2 spray will do, guys. You're boosting not only the performance and the properties after your maintenance wash, but you're also adding a bit of gloss and slickness. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now you know how to ceramic coat your PPF or vinyl graphics. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. Of course, take a second, click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll never miss my future videos. And guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.